Good evening, everyone. Um, I have been giving you the wrong host code for almost a month now. One of my customers had said, hmm, this isn't working. And I said, well, it's probably me. It's probably not you. So whenever that happens, let me know. This was not an S. This is a three. So this right here is a three. It'll be going away soon as a host code because we'll get a new one next month. And if you want to be put in for a drawing for prizes, you will use this host code unless you are purchasing anything over than 150 then you can use it then um don't bother using that um you will get your own host rewards um and but you'll still be put in for the drawing now i do have color street nails on but i've been working outdoors and at work and putting up my outdoor furniture and scrubbing and doing all that but they still look pretty good um, so my friends Wendy Hoover and Mary Burr sell Collar Street Nails. So um, if you're interested in those, um, they're really easy to put on and they last, they make your nails look good, I think, um, and they don't take much work. I don't have time to do manicures and all that kind of stuff. So I told you about our host code. There is going to be a paper sale. Um, that starts June 1st through the month of June. 15% off certain designer series paper. There's 13 different ones to pick from. One of them is even um, one of the online exclusive ones with those pretty colors. Um, I think it's called Hello Irresistible. You can have it right here. And I'm um, pretty sure the two that I'm using today are in that same sale. Um, hi, Joanne. Um, I was just telling him about the correction of the host code. Because someone astutely said, hey, that host code isn't working. So even this one that's an online exclusive is going to be 15% off. So think about what papers you want to use. And the two I'm using today are going to be 15% off in June. Um, so June, we're having a paper sale. Today, I am going with... Um, Copper clay, which is probably, it is right now, my new favorite in color. Copper clay is just this beautiful, gorgeous color, and I'm loving it. And we're using it today, and so that's why the mat today um, is copper clay. You can get these in the branded merchandise, and um, it comes in a pack um, where... Um, you get all the in colors, so the five new in colors. So the Pebbled Path, which we're using today, the Moody Mauve, the Boho Blue, and the Wild Wheat, which I used last class. To note, June 10th is when you want to get your subscription in for Paper Pumpkin. If you want the Welcome In bundle, it coordinates with the Countryside In collection with these blues. And you can kind of see it gives you a little hint on there that there may be some coral in there too. It gives you an idea what the stamp might look like. But not also, in addition to that, they're going to have three different dies that you can purchase that go with the stamp set that's in the Paper Pumpkin. Um, it's an add-on item. It's item number 163192. I will write that down. And if it doesn't work for you, always ask me. <laughs> um, so if you want to get that because you're getting the June paper pumpkin, that's the number. There, those three dies are add-ons. There's a leaf, a vase, and a floral. Um, and I think it's 10 I think it's around $10. I'm sorry. I don't know the exact cost. Um, there's a new kit out, Confetti Birthday, um, that looks really cute. Those are kits you can just buy and while supplies last. June 10th is, um, the big sale at my house where I sell, um, retired product. Um, and I have a ton of it. So I have thousands of stamp sets, lots of dyes, 
that coordinate. I keep everything coordinated with a die set. I have um, posted on my website um, the sale that I do. So the more you buy, the more you get free. Um, and um, that's about all I have. Next week we'll do a drawing for my the people who have purchased with me this month. Um, and um, we'll do that next week. So this week we're doing three cards. One easy card. Hi, Becky. Good to see you. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. I hope to get to see you tomorrow. <laughs> <I hope. laughs> um, this is our first card. This is a very simple card that I kind of um, took from our catalog. I wanted to show a simple card where you don't have to do much of anything and then some and then two fancier cards. Um, and so this one is using the Lay Shops paper and the Let's Go Shopping. And before that, let's show you what we're using in the catalog so you know where to find it. The other one I think I showed you. I'll give you a sneak peek on all of them. This one. We're doing that one. And we're doing another one with that same set, but a different background. And I'll show you how to do that background. Okay, so we're doing those cards tonight. All right, so on page 31 of your main catalog. I'm going to back up a little bit. Sorry about the motion. Page 31 of the main catalog, we're going to be using this paper. We're going to be using a word from this set, but this set is really cool. You can build buildings. It's kind of one of those sets where you can play. You can make it a little bakery. You can make it an art store. You can make it a bookstore. Um, and the paper is just fabulous. It is going to be one of those papers that's going to be 15% off starting in June. There is even a little die that's a little bench and a little light post. So you can build your own scene. And see, look at that. That looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's on page 31. So whenever you're lost for inspiration, look in your own catalog. And now page 71 shows the majority of what we're going to be working on tonight. The Earthen Elegance Suite. We're going to be using this beautiful paper. Gorgeous paper. Um, and the paper is so perfect to cut out pots and, um, and vases with. Then we're going to be using this beautiful ribbon. The stamp set. And the dies. The really cool dies. So that's on page 71 of your main catalog. Flip on over to page 131. There's a full view of that Le Shop. Le Shop paper. Um, and then on page 136 is a very important page. This is kind of on what I call the artistic page. Today, we're going to be using these palette knives. I'm going to be using the one in the middle, but you could use any of them. Um, so I'm using the palette knives. We're going to be using the four square um, right here. Those are decorative masks. We're going to be using those. We are going to be using... Hmm, where's the other stuff we're going to be using? Hmm, sponge daubers right here on page 12. I'm sorry. Number 12 on page 137. And then we're going to be using the enamel effects, the metallic ones. And I can't wait for Christmas to use all these because these are really cool. So if you want to play with stuff, get those. And then we're also using, um, because I wrote on here what we're using, so I didn't forget. Um, we're also using um, the Craft White Ink Pad. Okay. Um, hi, Karen. That, it's okay to be late. Better late than never, isn't that what they say? Um, and you missed all the announcements, so you'll just have to go back after. <laughs> um, it, is, it was a beautiful day, wasn't it? Um, so um, we are using these, these gorgeous adhesive back sparkle gems on page 140. We're using these. These are probably, oh, these are so pretty. These are elegant, pretty, pretty colors. Um, 
we're going to be using this one and I didn't like the color combination I'm just telling you but each you each one of those colors I will use but I don't like them together um, but that's fine because we're going to use the copper clay which is my new favorite color and then we're also going to be using these rustic metallic adhesive backed um, dots on page 141 um, and then of course we have to use our ribbon we're going to be using that gorgeous copper clay ribbon on page 143 and then we are going to be using our linen thread on page 144 the natural wavy trim on page 144 and I think that's it yeah I think that's it I think that's it <laughs> and then that's done with the ribbon. Now we're also going to be using the stylus shape um, dies, which I use all the time. They're on page 167. We're using one for a banner. And then we're going to do some really cool stuff with the um, exposed brick 3D folder, which is very cool. If you have the time worn type, you could probably use this folder. Um, thanks. These are the color street nails. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? It's a cool design they have. All right. So we're starting with very simple. And because I want to show you, if you just buy paper, you can make cards. <laughs> just putting together paper is easy. So this is the Lay Shop paper, 12 by 12. And it is comes with a 12 by 12 sheet like this. Let me see if I can get another one. Up. And it has, yeah. So all, I, all you do is cut it up, right? Isn't that pretty for a background? And then you have all these little shops that you can cut out and put on and make your little card. And then they have paths and different shops and different foods and books. This one is a really cute one. And especially next month when it's starting June 1st, which is next week, right? When it's going to be 15% off, this is a good one to get. Because it makes... Good bright cards. My husband actually liked this card the best out of all of them, the ones today. So to make a nice, easy, simple card. Oh, I forgot to show you one thing in the catalog too. The ombre dots. We're going to use that with this one. Okay. So I used a piece of basic white thick cardstock. So when I use basic white for the base, I use a thick. And I almost went to pick up my palette knife instead of my bone folder. All right, and then all you do is you take, you cut out the piece that you want. I measured it at four by five and a quarter, and then you place that down there. But before you do, we're gonna tie some string and stuff, so we're not gonna glue it down just yet. Um, so we're going to take our linen thread. This is how easy these cards come together. You could do this with daisies, right? The daisy paper, you cut out like a background, one of those backgrounds, and then you cut out a daisy and put it right on it. So you don't have to, if you're in a rush, <laughs> you don't have to make an intensive card. Like, like the other two I make, they're a little bit of work, but they're fun. Um, you can make easy cards too and they're just as pretty and people really appreciate them and they're cute and this idea I got right from the catalog so don't be shy about using your catalog getting ideas from your catalog um, you say hey I like that card and then you go home and you make it <laughs> or you change it to what you want so I put some embellishments on it I did some other stuff so so I put um, so the linen threads on there, right? Isn't it cute? I love that blue, nice and bright. And then you can pick out any shop if you wanted. If you and your friend go clothes shopping together, pick out that one. If you like to go out for uh, Chinese food together, pick that one. If you, I do arts and crafts with my friends, so I'm going to cut that one out. And I'm just going to fussy cut it out. And you could also fussy cut out a plant. Um, actually, do these have dyes? They do. So let me show you this set. So this is the set and you can build your own shop and you can put make it a bakery or a library or make a little menu and put Beast Cafe on it. 
right? How cute is that? Make a little table. This is so much fun just to play with. Now the dies are meant to cut out these. They don't really cut out the paper. I guess they could. I guess they could cut out this part and this one. Yeah. So some of them could cut out pieces, but that's not what I want to do. <laughs> but you see how they cut out like um, plants and all these other stuff, like an awning um, you can do there. And these are lights that they cut out. It's just so cute. It's so much fun just to play with this and build with this set. So if you're someone who, I know there's different types of stampers, right? There, let's face it, there's different, there's ones that like to play and fuss and play with different things. I like to do that. I like to try new things. I like to play. But there's other people that like a, a fairly simple card and they like exact directions um, and and don't want to go against those directions. <laughs> and then there's other people that are in between. Um and there's people that like to watercolor, and that's not me, even though I do watercolor some. Um, I just don't think I'm as good as, at it as other things. Um, and then um, I like to use my blends when other people like to color with other things. So everyone has different styles, right? Um, but I do like to play. I think this would be so fun to sit with this paper and make hundreds of cards oh. make different buildings stamp different buildings right be so much fun I actually like the color combination of this paper the coral with the blue I just think is very pretty and it uses different blues right it uses um, some of the lighter blues the balmy blue and it uses I think boho and misty moonlight it is beautiful paper with some pops of color and I'm just cutting this out. Don't worry, I pre-cut most of the other stuff for tonight. And then look at the other side of that paper, it's pretty. Yeah, you're following directions, kind, of, and that's okay. We're all different. And so I could put that right there, right? Or I could put it right there, I put it right here kind of like that right there but then I'm going to have to move my saying mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want my saying there so I'm going to put it there so I'm just going to put some dimensionals on that baby and you always need dimensionals I must have picked up my scrap table <laughs> right so oh, I guess I need a new pack I'm going to have to use my black dimensionals or my minis. So dimensionals are a must. Um, they make it easier to sit over ribbon too if you have ribbon on your project like we have on this card. Um, and then we're just going to do a little banner and, and some embellishments and we're done. It's that easy. All I did was cut paper. <laughs> right? And you can put that. And I love this one because it's a little little art shop isn't that cute right so easy right now um, what I did is I took a piece of Knight of Navy and I took our die that die I showed you out of the catalog and the shapes and I cut that out of the shapes now normally I'll stamp it first and then cut it out but to save us time I did it like this and it's a photopolymer and this one is less celebrated but there's there is happy birthday in here. Good luck. Hello. Wish you were here. You know, you can make it a little bookstore. You're such a, you know, you're such a, hmm. What is it supposed to be? Hmm. You're such a sweet treat. I've, that's weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the first time I read that. You're such a sweet treat. Oh, I guess it's okay. It's nothing I would ever use. You know me, I'm honest. I would never tell anyone you're such a sweet treat. <laughs> um, and so I'm just going to do the best I can on camera. All right. And then I'm going to use probably my little holders. Now there are... Um, 
I'm, I'm using my non-medical terms. I want to say forceps, and I know it's not forceps. Um, um, yeah, there are things that Stampin' Up! sells that will hold it. Not forceps, though. Um, what are they called? It's not an ad. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know. You know what I'm talking about. All right. And so now I got that all powdered up with my white powder. And I'm going to heat emboss that. And then we're going to be all done with our first quick card. All right. And I'm just going to turn on the heat embossing for a second. I use a paper clip, the, the clothespin, because it keeps my fingers away and so they don't get burned. Um, and... What are those things called? Do you remember, Karen? You know what I'm talking about, Joanne? You know what I'm talking about. The things that hold them. <laughs> They're not forceps. <laughs> or pinchers or whatever. <laughs> what are they called? And they're not tongs. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll come up with it sooner or later. So hard because I'm like, I'm always like, hand me the forceps, tweezers. <laughs> it's the simple words sometimes that escape us, tweezers. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> and so we have this. I love white on dark colors. I think it, the writing looks really cool. All right, so then we're just gonna put some dimensional underneath that. All right, just tore some off. Easy peasy. Look how cute that is. All right. Let's get together. So cute. And then we're going to take a little bow. But see how easy this card was? And I wasn't going to show you this because it was so easy. But I like to show you an easy card and then show you a little bit more complicated cards. You know, so that not everything has to be complicated. And... If you like parts of the card and you don't want to do the other complicated parts of the card, you don't have to do the whole card that way. You can do some of it and and make it easier. You can step it down or you can step it up, right? And so we're going to put that there. And then look at these ombre um, matte decorative dots. They come in navy. Perfect. That's what color we're using on our tag. They come in... Calypso Coral, perfect. We're using that. Um, I think this is Coastal Cabana and Old Olive. Um, so very cool, right? So we can use one of these coral ones. We'll put that one here. We'll use one of these. Put one over there. Maybe another blue one. Maybe there. I don't know. I kind of like it just like that. How cute is that? These are cute. Maybe move that one over. Yeah. Tweezers. So cute. So easy. Nice and easy to do, right? So now let's have more fun. <laughs> so nice, easy, cute little card. You can make this a birthday card. You know, whatever, whatever you want. Let's get together. Let's have coffee. Those kind of cards. Great card, great card, great paper. Now, since we're talking about paper and we're going to have a paper sale, let's show you this paper. Because I'm going to use this paper on the next two cards. And this is the Earth and Elegance. And it is elegant. Um, but it's very cool because the paper is really designed for... Um, cutting out bases. This is obviously my favorite. <laughs> I've already cut out a lot of it, but see how it has like, how it looks like the outside of a vase. And then uh, this side is very cool too. And then we're going to be using this one. Very cool, different textured. This is, was not my favorite, but then I realized it's very pottery-ish. So if you want a little, something that looks like pottery, um, and then we're going to be using the top of this one because it looked like that speckled pottery. 
but it has this great ombre with a pretty peacock. And on the other side is this really cool pattern that you would see in the pottery. Um, so if you don't love this paper, I don't know. It's just really cool. Really cool. I could see a pottery out of that and that. It's very, very cool. So, and then there's other pieces in there with mobs and, you know, this looks like like the white dripping on a pot. This is very cool. All right. So the next card. Ta -ta -ta. I had fun making this one. I thought this one was cool. Um, and then the last one has a little bit of technique to it, too. So this one uses t two of the new ink colors. That awesome copper clay and pebbled path. All right, and so what I first did is I took Pebbled Path, cut it at four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. That is my base. This Pebbled Path, it's kind of like a grayish taupe, uh, a little bit more gray than taupe. Um, it is a beautiful color. It's darker than Smoky Slate. Um, it is, oh. I'm loving these colors. Loving, loving, loving. And then, as you know, I'm in love with the um, copper clay. I think it's this gorgeous reddish brown. And so we're layering that. And so we're doing, actually, a card that opens like that. But you could you could is easily have it open like that. Okay. And then, of course, crumb cake, because crumb cake, right, is the best, Karen. Crumb cake is the best. So this piece right here is cut at three and three quarters by five. And we're gonna throw that into our new exposed brick embossing folder. Right? Because we need to get that brick background. So do 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 I'm going to move you over to the stamp and boss cut machine if you get motion sickness please avert your eyes for a moment i'm moving now and all right so all you need for your embossing folders that are thick is plate one the embossing folder with a paper and plate four and that's it and then you just run it right through your embossing cut machine this is awesome i never have to think about what layers um and other machines, you have to figure out what's going to work. This one is awesome. So look at this. Isn't that cool? That is just cool, cool, cool. But we're going to do something even cooler. You ready? We're going to go back to our work field. So avert your eyes if you get motion sickness. And we are back. I'm going to move you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to take one of our sponge daubers. I showed you where to get these. Okay. And we're going to take our white craft ink. White craft ink. Okay. See that? And we're going to pick up our ink. Pick it up enough. And now wherever you want white, you can smush it on or you can dab it on. If you push it, it'll get more on there, right? And see how, how it makes that exposed brick come out more? Very cool, right? Isn't that cool? And now I have, I want to do a little bit more over here so it doesn't look like so pouncy, if you know what I mean. So it blends a little more. And we'll have areas that are a little bit wider than others. But that's cool. That's kind of how I want it. Okay. Okay. And now I'm done distressing mine, but you can distress yours um, with whatever you want to. Okay. So using white ink on things makes it look cool. It looks more splotchy on the video than it does in real life. I'm just letting you know. I think it's the reflection. Like it doesn't look as hazy in real life. Yeah. Try and change that. It makes it look even more splotchy. 
But in real life, it doesn't look that splotchy. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put our white away. We're going to put embossing away. All right. Tweezers. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot the word tweezers. Now we're going to take Pebble Bath. And we're going to take this cool thank you that is in this set. Because I made it a thank you card. But you can make it whatever you want. And then I'm just going to stamp right on there. Like that. And that's that pebble color. Alright. And that underline's supposed to be there. Okay. And now all we have to do is build our card. Because I did all the cutting ahead of time. So... Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, um, that designer paper I showed you, um, I cut out three vases, and we have different shapes of our vases that you can cut out um, with the dies. So I cut out a nice long one in that pretty, 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 pretty peacock. This one, which is the other side of this, right? But then I put that little top on it like that made a little vase like that so isn't this fun building your own little vases you can make them look what, like what you want i can't do that in real life with pottery <laughs> doesn't seem to turn out the shape i want it but isn't that cute make you yeah you can stamp ahead of time but i thought this was so kind of mm, distressed that it would look okay on top and it's dark enough um, you're right a lot of times if you're gonna put something through an embossing folder you would want to stamp first but this looks okay and it's I play with it I see does it look okay nope it doesn't then I won't use it and then I use this one all right and so we got those we got our vases and I was just like oh these look cute how do I want to you know put these like this like I know I wanted this one I love this color this paper and I was like yeah this one's kind of plain so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our linen thread um, and this one is a Rory original this is me playing <laughs> and I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of here and then I just tied just wrapped some of this around the top mm -hmm right isn't that cool and then I cut that off all right and then I didn't put any leaves or palms out of that one okay so here here we're looking at that right and then I took the the pretty peacock color again and I said okay I want it just peeking out I didn't want it like floppy I wanted it just peeking out, so I put some adhesive on the back of this and then put that just peeking out like that. Okay, it is a little wimpy, but it'll get better. And then this one, I said, oh, well, then I'll use a piece of the pebbled in, in that one, right? And so that one kind of sticks there already. Okay, and then the last one, I didn't like it flat. <laughs> I thought, eh, it needs, it was just like, blah. So what I did was I cut in between here. I cut these little pieces here, and you don't, there's only a little piece you have to cut before they come apart. So I think we were meant to cut these if we wanted to, because they come apart so easy. And so... I cut those apart and then I folded them and you can fold them either way you could fold them forward but I folded them back like that each one and I wanted to give it some you know texture not just a flat fan and I thought that would look cooler and you can do these any colors you could have done this in blues but I, I just liked the color. I liked Pebble Path, and I liked the new copper clay, and I thought uh, the pretty peacock would be good with that. And so I, that's what I did there.
okay you can use your bone folder if you want to all right and now that's just going to tuck right behind here but as you see it's too big for that so what we're going to do is do this and then we're going to cut off the bottom you can cut your stuff and make it any size you want it to and look how cute that's going to be because you didn't want you know just um, pretty peacock on pretty peacock it, and you needed something behind it so now we can stack our um, pots I'm going to do this use up our dimensionals right and so this is going to be the first one I'm going to put down is this pretty peacock distressed paper one and this paper is just gorgeous just gorgeous paper and I'm going to put it right there now the other card I used the other side as the bottom <laughs> And, the, and then use the other side as a top. You can flip this. I've seen people use punches to make shapes into um, the vases to make them more hourglass or bendy. So you can do a lot to these to make them look like different types of pots. But isn't this cute? It's just so cute. Before I put that one on, I'm going to put this one on. Nope. Oh, I did it different. Oh, uh oh. No, I didn't. <laughs> what screwed me up is that was blue behind there. <laughs> and I was like, no, the blue one goes on the right. Oh, did I do it different? Yeah. And so then I did that one right there. And then this one right in the middle. And have them overlap. Cute. And now to bring out this color, I layered that on there right so layer that I'm using my stamp and seal plus which gives it a little extra stick make sure you're not as crooked as I am all right right okay and then after that all we have is embellishments right not too hard not too hard. I didn't use any ribbon other than what was on here. Um, but I'll show you the embellishments I use because I think they look cool. I always like an array of embellishments to match my stuff. So I get everything, but I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like. <laughs> I told you I don't like the color combination of those embellishments, but I like the colors in and of themselves. Like, I would never probably use these three together but I love these and I'll use those and I'll use the yellow and so we're going to use the copper clay just the copper clay part and we're going to take our take a pick tool and I'm just going to use a couple of these so I'm going to use one up here bring that copper clay color there and then we'll use um, the copper clay right here and then we're going to use two of those metallic rustic metallic right here maybe three so you should always use odd numbers so one there and then two smaller ones one right here maybe somewhere around there and then um, one right here um, and then then your card is done for the inside, I did decide to use crumb, crumb cake because we used it on the outside. Sorry, that's not just my dog playing. <laughs> and um, Augie, Augie, my doggy. And then um, here's the crumb cake on the inside because I thought it would look cool matching the outside rather than putting a white inside in there. And so that is card number two. Pretty cool. All right, last card is using the same set, but a different technique. And here we go with that one. So this one I think is cool because it's using some of our new metallic. Okay, this is 
the last card. Of course, we're going to be using the copper clay. All right, so we're using the copper clay again, cut at four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And just use your bone folder. Then we're going to put that aside. And we're going to use our silicone mat, which we sell. And then we're going to use our mask, which you can tell I've been using. Um, this is one out of the four square. Okay. And then we're going to use one of our metallic enamel effects. We have silver, gold, but I'm going to be using copper tonight. Okay. So all of these come and you can make little dots of embellishments on your cards. You don't need to use them. In fact, most of the time I don't use them in a mask. Um, I just use these as little dot embellishments on things. Um, but we also have a three pack that's red, white, and black. Um, so for this card, I'm just going to take a piece of black cardstock because I thought metallic would look good on black. You can use anything you want. I encourage you to play with it. And then we're going to put that over there. And then all you're going to do is, now if you're one who moves your paper a lot, you might want to secure it more than I do. I'm just going to lay some down here, okay? I might need more than that, but we'll see. And then I'm going to take my palette knife, and I'm just going to smush it over and hit all parts of the cardstock. Okay. And that's my poor puppy whining. He must want to play or eat or do something. <laughs> I don't know why he's whining. Oh, he might have been locked inside and everyone's outside or something like that or someone closed the door on him. He always wants to be where other people are. <laughs> he's a little whiner. All right, and so then we just lift that up and it is sticking. And then there, there's your effect. Isn't that cool? Now you're going to have to let that dry. Okay. And if you excuse me for one moment, I'm going to pick this up and I'll be right back. Talk some much yourself. Sorry about that, that's something you want to get off right away. So you want to wash your mask right away. And now, by the magic of, tech, of TV, I have one that I've made ahead of time that I've let dry. And they're not going to be perfect. They'll have imperfections where you let a little too much go, but it's really pretty, I think. And... That is the base of our background. Now, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be pretty to use this gorgeous copper ribbon right there? So I took that, and I did that. And I wrapped it around. So you just wrap that around the bottom. Is that pretty? It does make a nice background. But you can imagine if you do this with silver and snowflakes or golden stars in the you know and with christmas can't wait to play with christmas stuff using the red with like berries or with um candy canes like a million things you could use that for so now this is going to go down on here like this it's a cool way to make backgrounds no those masks so you can use paste you can use the glimmer paste you could use white glimmer paste you could use inks you could use your blending brushes you can use markers you can use whatever you want with those masks right but i just decided to play and so now we have that isn't that a great background to start with and now we are going to <laughs> take again this same paper but i did it in the longer face and we'll put some embellishments on the back of that. Oh, before we do, 
I decided instead of using blacks, I took two early espressos and I took the pecan and I used that, the pecan pie color, which is a new color. And I put all those in the back of this face. So I kind of had like this one poking out like that, that one, um, this one kind of being up front. <laughs> so I might have to change my order. So that one was up front, right? The pecan one. And then I put in the espresso one, but I made it a little higher. And the same with the other side, the espresso a little higher. Okay, and then with your dimensionals, then we put that down. See, it doesn't take that long. You just gotta wait for your background to dry. So you can make a whole bunch of backgrounds. And then it doesn't make take that long. But I loved the copper colors and the copper clay. And then we have that, right? Very cool. And now I have this little piece of early espresso. So bringing back in what I used there. Um, and this is cut like at basically to the size of you, your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. Um, just use some Versamark. And then we put it right there. And then, again, I'm going to use my clothespins, but you can use tweezers. It's okay if he barks. Everyone that's on my class knows my dog barks. <laughs> Everyone knows Augie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We all know Augie likes to play and he barks when someone won't play with him. <laughs> and then we're going to heat that up. So I used copper powder because I wanted to correlate the copper. Do you guys like this? Do you guys like this earthen elegance? I, I, it's, you know, I get stuff and I'm like, yeah, I'm lukewarm about it sometimes. And then I play with it and I'm like, oh, this is nice. You know, so then, so much. See how pretty that is? The copper, that copper embossing. Sorry, it's a little fuzzy when I get too close. Make sure it's all heated. Pretty cool, huh? So it's so close to that edge that I'm going to make it close to this edge too. Okay, just so it looks even. And then I'm going to put it right there. And then all we have is embellishments. And, oh, I forgot something. I forgot to use our other trim. Now that's a little crooked. So our other trim that comes with the suite, isn't that pretty? And I laid it like that. I was like, oh, that looks cool. One over, one under. So we're going to do that. And so now I'm just going to lift this corner up a little bit. Put some adhesive on here and put some adhesive down here. Flip that over so it hits that adhesive. Wrap it around like that. And then here and then here. And then I'm going to cut some more off here because it's too much. Just too much to tuck under. Too much to tuck under. Oh, it might be too tight. Mm. So it's better to put this all on before you adhere it to your card front. But isn't that cool? Layered like that? I like that. And then last but not least, our embellishments. Look at these. These are so cool. So these are the Adhesive Back Sparkle Gems. And they are gold and silver and black. And they are my favorite. But they look copper when you put them down here, so... I use just a few of these. Look at how pretty. Pretty. And then pretty. All right, and then we're done. All right, that's it for tonight. Thank you.
the last two were my design. The first one was copied, but it doesn't really matter as long as you're making, right? Um, hope you have a great weekend. Have a great Memorial weekend. Hope you enjoy these cards. Come and see me next week. Um, and then the week after, remember, having the big sale at my house. All right. Good night. God bless. Take care. Thank you all for joining. Bye.